Now wasn't that a nice pause menu? Alright, we are back in Dark Parables 11, the Swamp Princess and the Dire Tree. We have a banner pole, a gold coin, and a lantern! And, uh, I don't know where our, our traveling companion McBride is, but we're here at the Dire Tree. The Dire Tree spreads throughout the island. All the island's vegetation is closely tied to it. And we have, yeah, whatever these were called, um, collectibles and, uh, yeah, parables to find. I guess what parables aren't. A frog figure! No, oh, frog prince! It's missing from this post. Um. Okay, yeah, I guess the parables are morphing, which doesn't really help me because I suck at finding morphing objects, so we. I'm standing at an ancient crossroads, and this is a road sign from long ago. Some bracelets are missing other charms. My trusty mare never let me down. Just throws you off every time, but it's not its fault, but it's the best thing in the entire games. The intro. Reading the book, and then whoa, the horse throws you off. Yes! All those sound effects. A pair of swans is a motif I've seen everywhere on the island. Uh, gate, I guess. Thank you for answering my summons, Master Taylor. Your help with the cracks will be invaluable. I suggest you get to work immediately. Fear not, my lady. It is my honor to assist you in your time of need. Off I go. And for you, Detective, I have a task of the utmost delicacy. The future of my kingdom depends on it. What happened here? The Black Swan, who was once the most trusted member of my Swan Guard, has stolen the Magic Seed. Without it, the Goddess Flora cannot regenerate. That is probably kind of bad, yeah. My scouts have informed me that she's hiding somewhere in the swamp. Only someone with your wits and skills can track her down. Okay, haven't we met the Black Swan before? Or was that some entirely different game where someone was a black swan? I'm just confusing everything. Uh, I don't know. You all, you all probably know. I'll be in the throne room, awaiting your return, with this seed and the traitor. This talisman will help you when you face her. Members of the guard each carry a magical talisman. This one was the black swans. The swan princess seems rather worried. Restoration ceremony is it the, I presume. Restoration ceremony is in real danger or something, something. The members of the swan guard would gladly lay down their lives for their goddess. Swan Princess radiates an aura I've never sensed before. She's a true leader. Maybe I could pry this open. No. Ooh, I actually saw it myself. What? Okay, now we have to check for parables. Next parable is over at some wheel. Alright. All right, but like, okay, but, 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 wait, what do we do? Oh, she moved. Okay. Uh, knocking on a door of this size will require an extra kick. All right. I don't think you're supposed to knock. But okay. Um. Yeah. What do we do now? Oh yeah, we still have... 
Oh, no, we don't. Oh, swear you'll lead us to the... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, what did it say? Loyalty to the goddess seems to be valued extremely highly on Dire Island. Okay, is there anything left here? Why can't we stare at the silver swan? That's my question. No, there's nothing here. So... I still think that the banner pole should be able to help here. But I am apparently wrong. Oh, I just clicked the wedge. Alright, fine. Ah, this one is missing crucial swan guard gear. Good, that opened up a passage. Looks like the swamp is right through that cave. Alright, but where does the frog prince come in and all the others? Come on. Glade. What is that monstrous thing? It's a spider! Um... Some sort of ancient symbol belongs here. That was such a, a huge guess. Uh, some serpent symbols are missing. Something... I sense something dangerous lurking in the mist. It's the lair of the huge creature I saw. I know better than to disturb it. Are you sure? Swamp. Chapter 2! Alright, this is where the parable is. There. Every time I see her, these cracks start up here. I need to find her to ask some questions. Uh. Ooh. Hey, hey, I'm actually finding them. Sort of. A leaf belongs here. Phew! The stink of sulfur! If I don't find the source of these cracks and stop them, the whole kingdom could be destroyed. The black swan vanished behind the waterfall. I need to get across. This is a matter of life and death for the entire kingdom. To all kingdom's guards, princess's orders, find and apprehend the black swan. The traitor must be brought to justice for stealing the seed of life. We need to restore the balance. Prepare for the royal ball. Select and move items in the picture to complete the scene and find the princess. What's happening? Okay, they made the ball. They marry. Prepare the marriage ceremony. Oh. Alright. Uh, who has the crown? There we go. Okay! Hello? Uh, right. Retrieve the necklace from the evil wizard, uh, I guess. Evil wizard, what are you doing? Stop it.
Necklace has the power to undo the evil magic. I'm getting lots of weird deja vus here. Alright, well, that raised like 20 bazillion more questions. During my search, I found a place protected with magical doors. I saw enormous cobwebs that weren't there before. It seems like something big is moving moving out there. If someone used magic to protect the entrance, then it's the first place I should look. Hello! The Goodbye. rumors about this swamp are true. It's a dangerous place. I suppose we're even. Tread lightly now, detective. Those cracks are everywhere. I like that his clothes are full of seams, like, to sort of emphasize that that's what he does. That spider was huge. Indeed it was. Oh, thank you. It's one of the Swan Guard. He fell victim to that awful spider. Um. Swamp duty. Supply inventory. Potion of never sleep. No napping in the swamp. Hourglass. The forest is too thick. No night or day. Spider sickle for cobwebs. I've only seen sickle shards. The poor soul must have tried to defend himself with it. Um. <clears throat> oh now I see his face. Whoops, hello. Or his head, I guess. We are building the spider sickle. Objects in eight seconds. Okay, this went a little faster than the first one. Oh, spider to go. Um, can we use you here? Well, there's my way across, and there's something hidden inside that tree. I need the right key to unlock this. Yet another passage blocked by cobwebs. These are even stronger than the ones that held the tree in place. If I move the beam aside with something, it can block the water. Oh, this is a knocker base, but we don't have the rest. Onyx charm, crystal token, silver coin. Alright. I don't think we have that. Their motto reflects their resolve. Yeah, he's missing. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. Left winch. Guard talisman. That's where I saw the black swan enter. 
There's some kind of magic protect. There's some kind of magic protection playing tricks with my eyes. Nope. Well, the door knocker is awake now. <laughs> the phenomenon is related to the disappearance of the magic seed, which holds the key to reviving the goddess Flora, who keeps nature in balance. Peace be upon you, friend of the kingdom. I grant you entrance. I stand in awe. There's an entire world inside the dire tree. There's an entire city inside the tree. somewhere. There we go. Uh, such thick fog over the lake. I need some light. Alright. Well, that won't work. I need to replace the winch to move this raft. I need something to make it blossom. The path is guarded. Maybe I'll try later. This tranquil lake separates separates the Swan Palace from the city gate. One pass is just ahead. I'll disembark here. Okay, what was with the uh, get ready for a jump scare music there? <laughs> Entrance hall. The Swan Palace at the very heart of the dire tree. Alright, there should be a parable in here and, and stuff. So we're going to do all of that in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see ya.